with another video and today I wanted to do a review on the e.l.f. Ariel Treasure Within Beauty Book. This is a special limited edition uh, beauty book that they came out with. If you're familiar with e.l.f. then you may be aware that usually around Halloween the last couple of years they've come out with Disney themed beauty books based on Disney's villains and I picked up a few of those really enjoyed them and so when I found out that they were doing some of the Disney princesses I of course had to pick these up these are available exclusively at Walgreens so you can't get these on Elf's website but the great thing about these as compared to those villains books that they've come out with in the past is that these are a little bit more accessible you can pick these up on walgreens.com as well as drugstore.com if you can't find them in your store so that makes it a little bit easier to get your hands on um, not quite as limited edition as their previous Disney collaboration palettes have been so let's go ahead and take a look at this Ariel treasure within beauty book first of all the packaging is stunning these run for $9.99 and personally I think that just for the packaging alone these are worth it. Um, they're great if you're a collector of this sort of thing, um, if you are a Disney fan, if you're a Little Mermaid fan, which I personally am. It was one of my favorite Disney movies from when I was a child. Um, so it's a great little collector's thing. Uh, the artwork on it is stunningly beautiful. There's Ariel there, a little watercolor kind of looking drawing. Um, it opens up with these little elastic bands here and on the inside are your products. So it comes with a cute little seashell shaped mirror which fits in with the theme and it says you've got your own style along the bottom there and then you can open this side up and it comes with instructions on how to create a couple of different looks. There's a day look here on the beach um, and a, more of a kind of night look. This is the sunset cruise look and it says on the bottom, now let it come through. So you've got your own style, now let it come through. Very cute. Um, I am wearing the palette today. I did the, this on the beach look and I did film that so you guys will see that at the end of this video so that you can kind of get an idea of the products um, I think it's easier to tell the quality of products if you can really see them in action. So I did film the look. It's kind of a bright look personally for me, but it's fun for summer, so there's that. The Treasure Within Beauty book does come with nine eyeshadows here. It also comes with a cute little um, brush that you can use with the bronzers. I probably won't personally use those. It's kind of a flimsy little brush, but nice to have. Um, and it comes with two bronzers, this one in conch shell and this one in tan lines. Conch shell is a little bit darker while tan lines is a little bit lighter. And it also comes with a little lip color. So let me go ahead and show you a closer look at these eyeshadows and give you swatches. Um, oh, I forgot to mention it also comes with the little $1 essential eyeshadow brush, which is actually a really, really fantastic eyeshadow brush. It's one of my all-time favorites, so that's awesome that it comes with this. So as I said, it comes with nine eyeshadows. You can get a look at them there. The first one is Sand Dollar, and it's sort of a creamy highlight color. doesn't have a ton of shimmer or anything. It's matte. Um, so Coral Reef is kind of a satiny matte finished eyeshadow and it's kind of a yellowy cream colored gold shade. Tropical Wave is a really pretty kind of aqua blue. North Star is a sort of taupey gray shade with some blue tones in it and it does have a bit of shimmer running through it. For Shore is kind of a neutral mid-toned brown. Brilliant C is more of a kind of orangey brown shade. That's it right there. Sorry at the um, angle that I'm showing you these these is kind of awkward. I'm trying not to blind you guys with the mirror. Seaweed is a really, really pretty green. Seashell is a gorgeous kind of purpley color. And Brilliant C is a true blue. I'll go ahead and swatch those out for you guys. You will see some of these in action when I 
I filmed this look. So here are the first three eyeshadows. This is Sand Dollar, Coral Reef, and Tropical Wave. You can see that these aren't incredibly pigmented, but that is just one swipe. You can build these up. I find that with these eyeshadows, it's better to kind of pat the color on rather than trying to sweep it on because it will blend away that way. But um, on top of a primer especially, these are actually really decent quality eyeshadows for e.l.f. A lot of times you buy these looks um, and the quality isn't fantastic, but this one's actually pretty good. So the next three eyeshadows, I'll swatch for you. The next three eyeshadows here. This right here is North Star. It's kind of a gray blue tone color. This one is for sure. This little brown shade in the center here. And this orangey color is Siren Song. You can see these are a bit more pigmented. And the last three eyeshadows I'll go ahead and swatch for you. And these I find to be the most pigmented and the softest. Some of these other shades are a little bit powdery, but again, nothing you can't work with. These are just beautiful and so bright. This green shade here is seaweed. This purpley shade is seashell. And this pretty blue is brilliant sea. And those are all of the shades together. You can create a lot of really pretty, bright, summery, kind of mermaid inspired looks with this. So the eyeshadows, like I said, um, it's a nice mix of finishes. There's nothing super glittery, which is great. Um, there's some satiny shades and there's some matte shades. Um, just really pretty finishes on all of these. And like I said, for the price and the quality, these are actually really kind of nice. Um, the bronzers in this book are actually my favorite part. They're actually very, very good quality. Um, soft, buttery, really nice. Um, very pigmented as well. So I'll swatch those for you. So this deeper one here is Conch Shell, and it's a really nice contour shade. It's very, um, it doesn't lean orange or anything, so it's very, very nice. And this shade here, this lighter one, is Tan Lines, and that is just a really nice kind of all-over bronzing color. Again, it's not super um, orange or ruddy or muddy. It's just really, really nice. The quality on those bronzers is actually really, really good. And lastly, I will just swatch the lip color for you, and that is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the e.l.f. lip color, and it's just in pink. It says on the little book, go on and kiss the girl, which is super cute. And there it is. It's just a little doe foot applicator. And it's just kind of a sheer pink color. Maybe nothing to write home about, but very nice. And I did just swatch this over top of where I had some of that eyeshadow. Sorry, you guys. That's the color there, and again, that is what I'm wearing on my lips. I'll just apply a little bit more here. So that's it. That's my quick little review of the e.l.f. Disney's Ariel Treasure Within Beauty book. Um, final thoughts here. I think this is a really nice little book. I think it's super cute. For collector's purposes alone, I think it's worth the $9.99 price tag. Um, the products inside, while not being fantastic, I mean, they don't blow me away or anything, um, but they are decent, decent quality, good for a young girl in your life or just a Disney fan or an avid makeup collector like I am. I think this is a great gift, um, and it's a, it's a great little purchase. Elf has also come out with a Snow White beauty book, which I did purchase, so you'll be able to see a review similar to this one on that book very very soon so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you'd like to see how I created this look stick around and yeah that's it I'll talk to you guys again soon bye everyone so I thought I would give you guys a little look at this palette in action um, I'm just going to sort of follow the little step-by-step -step guide in here and do a quick eye look. I've already applied um, foundation, concealer, and filled in my eyebrows a little bit. Um, so just to kind of show you what the eyeshadows look like in action as well as the bronzers and the little lip gloss, um, I find that it's helpful if you can kind of see what they look like on the eyes and how they apply. So 
I'm going to start out by doing this little on the beach look here. This is the day look from the book. And it says to apply a light eyeshadow color like sand dollar to the brow bone. So I'm going to start out by doing that. And I am going to use the little brush that came with the palette. This is a great little brush. So um, sand dollar is this, sorry, it's kind of awkward holding this up. Is this kind of light shade here. And I'm just going to use that brush and apply it right to the brow bone just as a highlight shade. And I am using um, kind of padding motions. I find, like I said in the uh, review, that padding motions are better. Um, if you sweep it too much, it'll kind of blend away. So it says to also dab it into the inner corner of the eye. So I'm also going to do that. And that's a really nice kind of creamy shade. I did swatches um, in the review, so you'll see that. Or you've already seen that, actually. Um, and then it says to blend a mid-toned eyeshadow color like Coral Reef onto the eyelid. So Coral Reef is this kind of goldeny shade here. Kind of a yellowy gold color. Um, and I am going to pat that onto my eyelid. I've already applied a little bit of the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to my eyelids just to um, get rid of any lines and veins that are in my eyelid and help the eyeshadow pop a little bit. A primer is definitely necessary with these eyeshadows, like I said in the review. And again, I'm just sort of packing that color onto the lid, trying not to sweep it too much because it'll blend away. So next it says to apply a dark eyeshadow color like Tropical Wave to the outer third of the eyelid and crease. So Tropical Wave is this really pretty kind of blue shade right there. And I'm going to do just what it says. I'm going to apply it to the outer corner and up into the crease a little bit. Again, padding motions. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. And that's a really beautiful blue. I'm just going to blend that into the crease using that same brush. You can see the shade is very, very pigmented. It's one of the more pigmented shades in the palette. I'm also going to take it down onto the lower lash line. Now this isn't necessarily something that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a little bright for me, but for a summer look, it's pretty and it's a good representation of the eyeshadows. Now, I did see that the um, brow bone color that I used blended away a bit, so I'm going to go back into Sand Dollar and apply it to my brow bone again. and that coral reef shade. Pack it back onto the lid again. Now it doesn't say to do this in the instructions, but I am going to take a little bit of this brilliant C shade here, it's this darker blue, and put that on my lower lash line. That is the eyeshadow look. It's kind of pretty, like I said, a little bright for day-to-day -day for me personally, but um, in the summertime you can kind of get away with that. 
I'm going to line my eyes really quickly, um, just my lower waterline, with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Perversion, just to kind of make my eyes pop. I'm going to curl my lashes with my e.l.f. eyelash curler. And apply a quick couple of coats of my mascara that I've been using lately. This is the Rimmel London Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara. I talked to you guys about this in my favorites video. I really like it. Next, I'm going to apply a little bit of the bronzer here. Um, I'm going to use tan lines today, so just the lighter of the two bronzers. And I'm just going to apply that kind of all over, focusing mostly under my cheekbones, but it's a light enough shade you can kind of use it all over. And like I said in the review, I think that the bronzers in this palette are really, really nice. Let me just warm up the skin a little bit. And to finish off the look, I'm going to apply the lip color. This is in pink. It's just a really nice shade. So there you have it, that's the finished look. Like I said, a little bit bright um, for every day for me personally, but I just wanted to showcase the eyeshadows, give you a little look into the sort of look that they give you instructions on how to create. Um, I think that seeing the eyeshadows in action can really give you a better idea of their quality versus just me swatching them on my hands and telling you um, how I think they are. So that's why I did this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And it gave you an idea of the quality of this Disney Ariel um, Treasure Within Beauty book from e.l.f. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already because I'd really love to have you back. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, everyone.